Roy Lichtenstein was one of the early pop artists in the 1960s. Roy Lichtenstein was born in New York City in 1923. In 1943, he was drafted into the military to fight in World War II. While in the army, he served as a clerk and draftsman, helping enlarging newspaper cartoons for the U.S. Army. This helped foster his love for cartoons. In 1946, after leaving the army, he returned to Ohio State University to finish his degree in art and to get his master's. His early art was much different from all his later art because it did not have a pop feel to it and it was not based on cartoons or was very realistic at all. In the early 1960s, he created what became his authentic look that was art pieces of art based off of cartoons with stylish colors For example, the popular piece, Wham, was based off of this cartoon. The diagram is maybe a good word for the way I represent other artists. That may be true of cartooning, that it tends to be a diagram of a person. It seems to depict by outlining and delineating in a simple way what a subject is. Like, I have to go to work today. God, I have to paint today. Nothing. It was his joy. It was his pleasure. Um, landscape, all of our environment seems to be made up partially of a desire to, to sell products. Um, this is the landscape that I'm interested in portraying, and I'm also not only portraying it, but I'm working in the style of it, or uh, a style which at least parodies the style of everyday art and everyday society. I'm interested in portraying uh, a sort of anti-sensibility that pervades the society and uh, a kind of uh, maybe gross oversimplification. As his fame declined, he continued to make art to keep him occupied and to provide him with pleasure. Roy Lichtenstein died on September 29th of 1997 at the age of 73. Roy Lichtenstein lived on through his art and his legacy as one of the founding members of the pop art movement.